Hi, my name is Olivia Immett and I'm the program leader here at Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. Welcome to this edition of the Recreation Station. We're going to be talking about salamanders, and that's why I'm located right next to a stream, because it's a common place to find salamanders. In fact, this time of year is the best time of year to look for salamanders. Around mid-January to the end of May is the ideal time to look for these critters. And that's because a lot of them are migrating to water sources to look for a mate. Now salamanders are amphibians. They kind of look like a cross between a frog and a lizard. How do you know it's not a lizard? Well, the skin of a salamander is going to be really moist and smooth, typically. With a lizard, it's going to be more dry and scaly. Now, salamanders usually range about six inches or less. However, some are much larger than that. The Japanese giant salamander can get up to six feet long. And here in the Americas, we have more species of salamanders than anywhere else in the world combined. There are over 600 different types of species of salamanders worldwide. That is a lot of salamanders. Salamanders are typically active during cooler parts of the day or during the night. They are considered nocturnal, so it's not very likely that you're going to find one just out walking about unless you're looking for them. You're going to want to pick up rocks and leaves and look underneath them to see if they're hiding underneath. Now keep in mind, some salamanders excrete toxins through their skin, so it's not the best idea to pick up these critters. Also, whatever is on our hands might affect the health of the salamander. If you have lotions, bug spray, or other things that could get on the skin of the salamander, the salamander will absorb that, and that might affect its health as well. So it's better to just appreciate these beings from a distance. Now salamanders are considered carnivores, and that's because they eat meat instead of vegetation. Most salamanders eat things that are slow moving, such as worms, snails, and slugs. However, larger salamanders can eat things such as fish, crustaceans, mice, frogs, or even other salamanders. Now, unfortunately, due to a deadly fungus, pollution, and environmental loss of wetlands, salamanders have experienced a dramatic decrease in their population. So it's important for us to protect our waterways and keep them as clean as possible. I hope this information has inspired you to go look for salamanders and help protect their environment for their future generations. I hope you have a beautiful day and thank you for joining us for this recreation station.